there's two trailers about Hiroko add-ons. Firstly, clear DB MySQL. Open up your Hiroko account. Get into the app that you want to add add-ons. Click resources, click on find more add-ons. After that, scroll down until you see clear DB MySQL. Click it, install clear DB. Select the app that you want to install the add-ons on. Click provisions add-on. Then you have clear DB MySQL. You can see that it has a name Heroku. This page shows you the performance and this is the information about the username and password about your database. You can get additional information if you go to the settings and click on reveal config files. You'll get the URL which contains your localhost username and password. Let's take it to an editor and separate the username password and the local host the last line is unnecessary so to access your database let's download our mysql workbench to have our gui access open up your workbench which you have downloaded click mysql connection in the host name page line number six In the username, you have to paste the line number 2. And lastly, the password, it's line number 4. Now you can test the connection if it's successful. So here, it's successfully, it has successfully made connection with the MySQL of your app in, on Heroku. So before that we have to give a name, let's say database and click OK. Now you have a database connection to your Heroku account. You can open up the database, you can edit tables, create tables, depending upon the number of rows and columns that you want to insert. And that's all for add-ons about MySQL Workbench. Now let's look at Heroku Scheduler. Go to resources, click on find more add-ons. Scroll down and click Dinos and you'll find Heroku Scheduler. Click on it. Click Install. Choose the app that you want to install the scheduler on. And now you have successfully installed it. Now open up your app. Go to live task and create a new file and this is the place where you will define the scheduler tasks that you want to do and this task is supposed to give you feedback updates it will update feedbacks so after you have done with that you can save the file as scheduler dot break so after you have saved you have to push your code back to Heroku account with this code attached so when you're done open up your scheduler Heroku scheduler and click on create job here you can give frequency of every 10 minutes every hour and every day and give the command to run the task by mentioning rake and the mentioned task which is to update feeds so it has a frequency of every 10 minutes it will run every 10 minutes so here it has last run is never so to check if it is working you can run the console Heroku console with this command rig update feedback click on run if it works if this command works scheduler will also work because they use the same one of dinos so this log shows you that the scheduler is working if you go with the very top you see updating feeds it's as same as you have given on your task feedback updating feeds so
so if you want to double check if your processors work let's wait 10 minutes later for that dyno to process so here the last run has been completed and you have the next tube thank you for watching